What is the deal, beautiful people? Ah, it is your boy, Uncle Rizza. Tonight's drink of choice, scotch. Uh, Glen Fittage, to be exact. It's a 15-year-old scotch. I just feel like I need to wind down, you know? It's been a long Monday. Never mind that, never mind that. You guys want to know, the title says it. Halo Master Chief Collection Ruined My Marriage. Now, what does that mean? You know, me and the... Me and the homies over here, we... Me and, uh, and Snow and, and Nigel, we, we got this saying. When, when something is of, of epic proportions... It affects your marriage. So, for instance, when... <laughs> when Forza Horizon came out and this game was unsuspectingly genius, it was so dope. That saved my marriage. Whatever was wrong in life, that game righted. And the other coin, of course, the other side of the coin is when Halo... Master Chief Collection was released that game as you can tell ruined my marriage this game was fucked now understand and I'm not making excuses here I'm just drinking I, I know you guys are waiting for me to make excuses I make no fucking excuses for these people I especially when when uh, all the talent left the building and they're fucking up. I'm talking about Bungie. And 434, 343, I keep saying it backwards. 343 did a good job at Halo 4. Uh, a lot of people complain about that game for whatever God knows reason. I thought that game was great evolution, evolutionary step in Halo. And I loved it. And... Uh, you know, at the last E3, they got us all riled up with this this uh, feature, a, a short video of Master Chief in the snow. Some big-ass Final Fantasy shit hopping out the snow. Whatever. And then they, they spoke about the Master Chief collection preceding the Halo 5. Now, obviously, Halo 5 is the bombshell. And the, the Master Chief is to hold us over until we get there. But this was supposed to be so much more than that. This was supposed to be a, a real, like, uh, reintroduction to the Halo world. To prepare you for Halo 5. And it was supposed to be such a, a elegant deliverance. You know, you, you get every version of Halo. Mostly, right? Because Reach is missing. ODST is missing. Uh, some people argue those two are useless. I would like to have seen them here and they put a great deal of effort into bumping the graphics and making a lot of it 1080p 60 frames a second because everyone's a fucking mathematician now right everyone loves numbers nowadays so they matched the numbers and shit looks great they reimagined a lot of the maps and they did a really good job at that and it was just amazing and when when I, I when this game was was on its eve I didn't I was so excited I didn't even know like what to do like I, I don't were we gonna get up with the IGZ boys and just do like straight all four campaigns in co-op mode on legendary and that was enough that was like porn right or would we just like get online and just play capture the flag and, and do Halo shit because Halo has its own category online it's its own thing it's that big I, I couldn't even like I couldn't fathom what to do and then boom day one hits 20 gig download you motherfucker you know so on top of the the 40 the 40 gig download that takes about eight days on the xbox one for some strange reason uh, <laughs> and i gotta do a video on that and why it takes three times the amount of time to download a packet on the xbox one never mind that on top of that first 40, you're going to throw another 20 at me day one? What the fuck? 
but it doesn't end there. The game comes out and it's broken. Fucking matchmaking does not work. Now, sure, you can play custom games, and I feel like for us, custom games is where most of the fun can be had, because we got a big group of friends that just want to talk shit to each other. And this is this is where Halo made a lot of its its uh its legacy. Fine, but don't force me to only play uh, the the custom games. No, get these playlists right. Get the matchmaking working. And this shit went on. As of today, it's about tomorrow because today is the 11th, 11, 17. So tomorrow will be the Tuesday that it was launched. So tomorrow will be a week. And the patch is rumored to come out on Wednesday. So a week and a day is what it took to fix this. And they've been making incremental fixes here and there. They tweaked the servers, but it wasn't the servers. They kept... They, they took away playlist so that it'll have to search for less time because there's less playlist available. It's just a clusterfuck. And the thing about this game was, out of everything that was launched on the Xbox One, this was the number one mainstream game. Because it didn't matter if dudes had a PlayStation, if they had a Wii, if they had a PC, everyone knew Halo. And everyone wanted a piece of Halo. And I've seen people went out there make some very brash decisions to get Halo. And they can't get on it. It's such an opportunity missed. Yeah, sure, they'll patch it and then we'll move on with life. And we'll be like, oh yeah, that was a rough start. But you can't take that stigma away, man. Because Halo Master Chief Collection will forever be the misstep. It will be the game that didn't work in Microsoft's long comeback after that E3. And that fucking sucks. Your boy Phil Spencer came out and said it's disappointing. You goddamn right it's disappointing. He didn't give any excuses. He just owned it like you're supposed to. Good job. Own your fuck ups, especially with Halo. And it, it's it's just crazy. I was not expecting this. Of all games in the world, it was not supposed to be Halo. God damn, man. Do you know how much this set me back on my fanboy trolling episodes? Do you have any fucking idea? God damn it, 434-343, motherfucker. Listen, man. Like the video if you liked it. If you're a Halo fanboy, then fuck you. You shouldn't be fanboys of shit. The shit's broken. I don't want to hear no bullshit. And if you feel a way about that, why don't you add me up? We can get it in like men when the shit get fixed. Motherfuckers. I'm out of here. Peace.